I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is May 15, May 16, 2020. And in this video, I'll be going to go over how to program a Rainbird ESP TM2 uh, sprinkler controller. First, let me share some links to make everyone's life a little simpler. And I'll put these in the show notes. So here's a link just to the Rainbird's official page for this uh, sprinkler controller. Uh, here's a link for the Amazon where you can purchase if you don't have one. And here's a link to uh, the Rainbird's official manual for this. So you might want to download this or look at that to get better information. And also, probably most importantly, um, here's a video that the Rainbird people did on this exact one that goes exact over exactly how to do the settings. So this might be a good one to stop here and just go watch this because this video might be really simple and to the point and get the job done. So you might want to go watch that one. Uh, but also, it's kind of nice to watch. Uh, so my video will be longer than theirs probably because there's only two minutes long. But sometimes it's nice to watch somebody else, another human being, do it and kind of stumble through the problem that they that they have or what they're trying to do. Um, but anyway, there's those. Uh, another thing, if you happen to live in Aurora, Colorado, where I live, I'll put a link in the show notes to here. Here they're talking about our water recommendations. And so what I'll be using is this. They posted saying how much, uh, how long you should you should water per day and per zone and per week. And so right now we're in May. So reading this. For the type of sprinklers I have, which are pop-ups, they want us to water four minutes, uh, three times per day, and only two times per week. So with that, what I'm basically going to do, on, I want to get this thing set up in such a way that I have I have four zones, three are pop-ups, and one is, uh, is for watering underneath the trees and shrubs and such. So what I'm going to do is set this up so that they, um, they will water three times a day, so like probably 4 a.m., 5 a.m., and 6 a.m., and each time they'll only water for four minutes, and because it's May right now, and then I'll set set that up to water twice a week, probably like maybe a Tuesday or Thursday or something like that. But then I'll have to come back in June and up that to seven minutes in July and change it back to five and three days per week. So I need to go adjust it based on top on uh, I'll have to go adjust it once a month. But with that, there's my basic idea: get these four zones working, get them to run, you know, four minutes each three times a day on specific days. So let's go get that programmed. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to use this as best I can to get things set up based on what we have here in Aurora, Colorado. So one thing you may wanna do first is you can go to the manual stations, just in case you don't know which one's which, because in my case, I'm gonna water them all the same, but if you would need to change them up differently, you can go here like station one, and then you can hold this and then it will start. And you can go see which one actually is station one. Like right now, mine are popping up. But right now, I don't want to do that because I know which one's which. But if you need to do that, it's a nice thing to do. So now I'm going to go to date and time. I need to fix the time here, make sure I'm okay. So we are May 16th. Let's see, it is 2020. And it is, that's about the right time, isn't it? Okay, so I like, I like having military time. So it's 13.05. And you can change from... 24 to 12 hour, but I like the military time. It's easier to program. So, hey, time's good. Now start times. So, we have different programs. I'm going to go click on this. And so we can program uh, four different start times. So I'm going to say first start time, 4 a.m. That's exactly what I want. Uh, second time, 6 a.m. That's not what I want. So I am going to adjust that down to 5 a.m. And then go click on third. Third is off. I don't want that. I want third to be on. And do 6 a.m. There we go. And then fourth. There is a fourth, but in my case, they say only water three times a day, so I'm going to leave that one off. And so with that, if I use program A, it's going gonna, it's gonna to start up at 4 o'clock a.m. And then again, it'll do it again at 5 a.m. And then do it again at 6 a.m and there's no fourth. But also I can switch to, I can click this, I think select program, program select button, and I can go to B. But in this case, I want B to be off. So first is off, it's off, off, and C, same thing. I want B and C to be off. But if you have a need for those, you could do it. But for me, I only need one. Then I can go to runtime, and I can say, okay, station one, uh, in this case, looking at what our type of sprinklers have. I have a pop-up and right now in May they say run it for four minutes. So I'm going to change this, uh, click on that and go go back to one and change it to four minutes and then go to station two 
and go four minutes. Station three, four minutes, and station four, four minutes. So now, and then station five, I don't have a station five, I don't have a station six in this case. So now between the start times and the run time, what's going to happen is at 4 a.m., station one is going to pop up for four minutes. And then after that run, station two will pop up for four minutes, and then station three will do four minutes, and then station five will do four minutes. And then at 5 a.m., it'll do the whole thing again, and then it'll do the whole thing again at 6 a.m. And I guess the idea behind this is you don't want runoff, because if you run too long, it doesn't... It, doesn't soak in, it just runs off and it's a waste of water, I guess, at the time idea. And then I'll go, I don't think I need to worry about my other programs. So I got program B, program C, I'm not using those. But um, you could use program B and C if you want to do things on alternate days or some weird thing, which I don't. Uh, but like, for example, uh, my fourth one is for watering my plants. And if I wanted to deal that di do that differently, I could say, hey, for, the, for A, on the fourth one, don't do anything. But then I could handle the fourth uh, station for program B or something. But in my case, I don't need to worry about that. And I'll go run days. And now you can see here, I got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, all the way to Saturday. And right now, they're saying two days per week. So right now, Monday's off. Tuesday's on. But I can click this to make it off. OK. Had a package delivery interrupt us. But here we are. So run days. I can go through all these days. So I'm on program A. You've got to make sure you're doing program A. Tilt it up a little bit. Oh. There you go. And I can, let's see, I can say, you know what? On Thursday, I want it to be on. Now, when I do that, it actually goes to the next day, which is, might be a little annoying. But see, in this case, I'll say, let me just uh, turn off. Oh, there you go. So plus makes it on, minus makes it off. OK, so we'll turn them all off. Now they're all off. So now I want to choose, I'll say, I don't know, I'll say Tuesday on and Thursday on. So now it'll go on, on Tuesday, it'll go through that cycle. So on Tuesday at 5 a, 4 a.m., it'll start up for four minutes, then at 5 a.m., then at 6 a.m., but then not on Wednesday, but it will on Thursday. And I'm going to have to go readjust this in, I guess, June. I'll have to go do some, every month I need to do some adjustments here in Colorado. But also on Sunday, um, what you can do is if, let's say, you want to water every three, every three days. On Sunday, if you, that's what you want to do, you can, I think, hold this. Oop, I did it too fast. Go to Sunday, hold the forward button there for a second. And this, well, I guess you got to be quick about it. There we go. So you can do a cycle. I don't need to do that. So you can set it, set it up so you want to do it every three days. I don't want to do that. But if you do that, then it's, every week's going to look a little different. But for me, that's not, not something I want to do. So I am going to just get out of that. And so for me, I just want to do right now Tuesdays and Thursdays. And for program B, I don't know if it's uh, redundant, but I should probably just probably should just shut this off because I'm not doing B at all. Just It shouldn't run in theory, but just to make sure I'm covered. And I'll turn C off, back to A. So there we go, we're good. Now the other thing I'm not going to go over, you can set up sensors and seasonal adjustments, but that's what I'm, I'm not going to do this in this video. But now I should be good to go. So now if I come back on that, you can see it's still set the same. And now what I'm going to do is go to auto run and let it be. Because now it should work. Oh, now it's actually auto running. Maybe I'm lying. Ah, what am I doing? Or just go. Okay, that's a question. I need to go look that up. What when you're done programming, what do you leave it on? Does it matter? Because right now I think it's actually gonna run. Okay, let me go check that. Okay, I figured out what I was doing wrong. So when you're all done, you go to auto run, but what you gotta do is you gotta select your program. So I can go through here. I'm on A, and then I got to go click on that. Now it's started. And so now if I look out, um, now you're running. It says manual. I don't want to do manual. It says manual.
It is manual. Okay, I'm doing this wrong. I thought I just looked at it. So let me... This little guy right here tells you it's the spring Yeah, it's popping up. So here's an example where I'm doing it wrong. So now if I go to off, everything's turning off. My sprinklers just went down. Yeah. Now if I go to auto, I have to select my program and hold to start. But if I hold to start, does that mean I'm going to auto run? Oh, I just messed myself up again. Okay, so don't do that. Okay, I messed myself up. If I do this, it's going to run my program right now. So what, if anything, do I need to do to just... Now that I've programmed it, am I, am I done? Does, this, does it matter where this is at? Let me go double check. Okay, I got the answer. Now, although it may be a good idea to run this, like go to program A and run it and make sure it does what you expect it to do, when you're all done, it's probably a good idea to go to off. For, it says three seconds and everything gets shut down. And then just simply turn it to auto run and you're done. It just needs to be an auto run and now it's going to run as expected. So now I'm going to run at 4 a.m., 5 a.m., and 6 a.m. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I have to do a little cleanup work here, but I'm going to go run it manually and make sure they all pop up in three minutes and make sure I'm happy with that. And I'll go turn it off just to be anal and make that manual go away. And then go to auto run and I'm done. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.